there will be no explanation, just a silly lesbian on the internet in a twilight shirt hopping in to record a YouTube video. I am not vibing with my hair today. Can we, can we fix this? I needed to know if I could play the song from The Last of Us. Can you? Why are you giving Ellie now? Because my hair looks stupid. So, because I'm recording for YouTube right now and my hair looked stupid. No, it, it looks, it looks hot. It That's looks... why it was like distracted because it's, it's giving Ellie. Oh my god, you're wearing a fucking silly outfit too. Like, what the fuck? Am I? I'm wearing my Playboy sweatpants because it was comfier. Slut. Anyways, how's it going, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Feet me. Feet. Oh my god, I knew you had a foot fetish. Okay, so today what we're doing is actually not how women work. And it's a subreddit. You've probably seen it before if you are subscribed to me. Let's jump into it. <laughs> this guy asked my very eligible friend out after they just met. He didn't like that she proposed a different cafe option, so now he's dateless and material for my Twitter feed. The kind of girl I'm looking for would say, yes, great, see you there, to my offer. She would then show up on time. We would have a drink there. Then, if the vibe was good, walk to my place, hooked up, and potentially have something good together on the regular basis. Any other response to me shows either low interest, respect, or a tendency to be masculine, bossy, potential for future power struggles, etc. I like my girls to be feminine, submissive, cooperating, happy for the opportunities I create. Oh, pfft. I'm so sorry, there's so much to break down. Um, in response, the friend said, yep, it's for the best. The kind of guy I'm looking for would say remarkably less sociopathic things. Good luck. Got him there. I started recording again. Oh. What, how does this look? Does this look right? What? Just the top of your head? Can you be more specific, your bitch? What the fuck are you at? Are you... <laughs> he also had a horse that got killed. Um, anyway. You're Can really you... gonna bring up my dead horse right now? Oh my god, I want a horse named Shadow Fags. Oh my god, there's in Skyrim, there's like a horse that you get from completing the Dark Brotherhood, and it's like, yeah, his name's Shadowmere, and then every time he dies, he comes back up in a swamp. Me as fuck. <laughs> me rising from the fucking bog. I pretty much watch anything that scares me. Wait, that wasn't uh, proof by cats. <laughs> Why did they give Taylor Swift fuzzy cat nipples? I don't know, but I mean, also, I FaceTime you every day, so like, that's also a horror movie in itself. Okay, I'm so sorry this video is all over the place. We're, we're good, we're good, we're in it, we're in it to win it now. Um, okay, so like, the cafe thing, uh, here's the thing. I personally wouldn't question if somebody was like, I don't wanna go to that cafe, I wanna go to this cafe. I'd be like, sick, chill. But if you really wanna break down reasons, like, it could be further from their place. They could already know that they don't like how the, like, the coffee's made there. They could have a preference for this cafe because they already know it's good. There could be something special about this cafe that like, maybe you guys have mentioned in the talking phase and she was like, huh, maybe he He'd enjoy this one more. Like there's so many reasons why she'd want to go to a different one. Maybe that she just wants to. Maybe she's been wanting to try that place. Who knows? Who cares? If you like meet somebody and you're like, I like them enough to like see where it goes, go on a date. And you're like, she didn't go to the cafe I wanted to go to. Like shut up. Whiny. Husband annoyed by internal scan. Okay, so I just had my first ultrasound and couldn't really see inside the sack. So the ultrasound guy asked if I wanted an internal. I said, yes. I was dying to know if it could be twins. It's not. My husband is acting like cheater. Jealous, annoyed that another dude went in there. I don't know what to say to him to make him feel better. He thinks the guy just wanted to get in there fast as. I'm sad about it. I don't know why it makes me feel guilty. I want you to get nice and nice and close to me. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Are you serious right now? You feel guilty because you wanted to know if you had twins. So you had an internal scan at a hospital that is a normal procedure to see. And your husband made you feel guilty? Oh my God, that's so, I don't understand how people can like, don't get me wrong, jealousy is a normal human emotion. It happens, talk through it, don't take it out on your partner, stuff like that. But to go as far as being jealous that a doctor did their job to let you know about your future children that you guys are having together could not be me. Could not be me. Like, what the? Why do men think vaginas get loose if you sleep with 30 different people, but it stays tight if you sleep with the same person 30 times? Here are comments on that post. Trying to justify high body count. Then you don't have to justify body count. You can sleep with whoever you want. It's your body. That's your bodily autonomy. Sleep with who you want. Different sized peepees, duh. Oh my gosh. Okay, women go through childbirth. Push out an entire human head. For a lot of women, it goes back relatively the same. Not exactly the same because that is like a full human, but for a lot of women, relatively the same. And you think this is gonna do anything? Okay, so we're going from this to this. 
and you think this is gonna do something. Are you that stupid? Penis sizes do not stretch vaginas. That is just not true. And the fact that like, I don't know what kind of ego boost these kind of men are trying to get when they say shit like this. Actually, wouldn't that be a humbling comment? Cause you're like, maybe like that's humbling because they're like, oh, I don't want like a, like a loose girl, but that would just mean that you're smaller. <laughs> Dudes that don't get laid a lot believe this. No dude's wiener is gonna gap anything a baby that can come out of. Thank you, thank you, Clint Lockhart. You are so correct. You are. So, that is exactly what I was just saying, and that's the next comment on there. Thank you. Whatever you need to tell yourself, either way it looks like roast beef. The absolute body shaming from men when you try to like tell them how it actually works is just wild to me, right? So they're sitting here roasting a woman's vagina, being like, Different size peepees change it, humbling themselves in the comments, and then they turn around and they're like, roast beef. We don't care if we destroy it, we just don't want to buy a barn that has the doors blown off. I'm so sorry, I need to zoom into this man. This is the man that just said that. This is the man that really felt the need to say that out loud to, to all these people. First of all, once again, that's not changing anything. Second of all, Stop comparing women to barns and to cars and like, oh my God, this is just the common theme. I can't, you know what, there's more, but I'm just, I can't. Oh my God, wait, what? Rental car versus single owner, same reason people will rag a rental car out yet take care of their own. The fact that I made that car comparison based on other things I'd seen and I didn't even know that this comment was in here tells you how predictable these men are. So predictable. I didn't even see that until just now. When he finds out that she cleans, cooks, gives blowjobs, lets him do anal and splits every expense 50-50. This one is wild to me because it's sitting here being like splits every expense 50-50, but then is also like on top of that, she's gonna cook, she's gonna clean, she's gonna satisfy me sexually. Wouldn't wouldn't you rather everything be 50-50 then? Like if you're gonna split expenses 50-50, wouldn't you wanna split the cleaning, the cooking and the, the satisfaction? If you expect her to let, to let you do anal, then you should let her expect to pay you. Let's make it real. Let's make it all 50-50. If you're gonna do it to her, let her do it to you. A kid I went to high school with posted this on his story today. Green flags in women equal virgin or two or less bodies. <sighs> I, mm, I know we're just getting into this one, but men that are like podcast bros, alpha men that do this like high value women have less than XYZ body count. Over, overdone, so stupid, shut up. Don't listen to rap or degenerate music. <laughs> Unvaxxed, conservative, makes fun of fat people, no boss or man telling her what to do, dresses appropriate except with you, racism, God-fearing, condemns the LGBTQ, no feminism, no male friends, guys can't get a conversation out of her, great at cooking, keeps everything clean, Na nature and fitness enthusiast, doesn't go out to clubs and bars, no piercings or tattoos, doesn't drink or smoke, private social media and low follower account, no TikTok, traditional beliefs, no celebrity crushes, goal is to be wife and mother, what else to add? I'm sorry, I can't get over that he thinks that a green flag is fat phobia, racism, homophobia, I, I thought it was bad at the two or less bodies and then it just like kept getting worse. Also, no boss or man telling her what to do makes no sense. So the last guy's like, ooh, I want 50-50 expenses. And then this guy's like, she can't have a boss though. I don't even know what to say to some of this. Obviously that, that top stuff is like really wild. And then it just goes into like, I don't like piercings or tattoos either. Blah. Like that's, <laughs> these things are so not comparable more body count stuff are you kidding me doesn't matter don't care but there's a limit in body count five for me it's too much women will lose their capacity for pair bonding by that time maybe me personally had four ex-girlfriends all broke up due to various reasons but i feel like you can commit again so i kept five as limit men and women don't function equally while pair bonding what they're basically saying is that if a woman has slept with more than x amount of people in this guy's case five that they are no longer capable of comp like having a bond with a partner and that's what they mean by pair bonding like no longer able to like emotionally connect and care about that person because they've slept with other people which is just absolutely not true in any capacity and then the they take it a step further by this guy saying men and women don't function equally while pair bonding basically saying that like men can sleep with more women than women can sleep with men because men can still pair bond but not women so it's just another excuse to slut shame women while not slut shaming men. It's just, it's how it always is. It's gross, it's weird. It's like, why are you, why? Why do you care so much? I just don't understand why people care what people did in the past with a partner that's not them. And I don't mean like 
emotionally because obviously if somebody like had a partner that they like cheated on or like did horrible things to that's one thing but like when it comes to like just sleeping with other people i don't see how that affects you like as long as your partner is honest with you about like stds or anything like that there's really no reason to care about all of the people they slept with in the past like personally i don't even want to hear about it personally don't even tell me that's fine like i don't care you that was that was before me good for you i don't even care don't tell me about it like i would never look at the person i'm dating and be like tell me about every sexual encounter you had before me like I'd rather die. I would rather die. I would rather not do that. I actually, personally, I hate that thought. I also like The Sims, but the amount of female players this game has is much higher than most other series. Anonymous responded with, Women like to control and manipulate people. Also decorating and stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this one I don't know if it's like a troll thing because it sounds like it, but it's so fucking funny. Like, I don't even want to get mad at this one because it makes me laugh so hard. Also, but if we were to break this down, manipulate and control, no, I, I play The Sims because I, I can't be a spellcaster in real life. I like to create little families and have them get a little dog and have a good life. Me playing The Sims is literally, ooh, you and you fall in love, have a child, beautiful life. Like, if anything I'm creating, I'm creating good moments for these people. And then you have the other side of the Sims players, which are people who like have children and lock them in a basement and then make them paint. <laughs> and you know what? Those players are valid too. <laughs> have fun. It's the Sims. <laughs> too much incel bullshit. Natural look is always better. What women think men want. What men really want. Having preferences make you an incel. This is the problem with memes like this, right? Is it's not that you can't have a preference, it's that when you make generalized statements about women's appearance, it makes you fucking weird. If you yourself prefer somebody who is like more toned down when it comes to aesthetic, doesn't wear makeup a lot, doesn't like to dress up, find somebody like that for you. You don't have to get online and make a generalized statement that first of all, not everybody's agreeing with. And second of all, literally like attacks a group of women and being like, men don't want that. That's gross. This is what we want. And then you're like shocked when people are like, shut the fuck up. Do you not see why that's weird? Had the meme just been like, what I look for in a woman, like that would be different because that would be like a preference statement. It can be so easy to just be like, I have a preference for women who don't wear makeup and don't get super dressed up. That's totally fine. Also, it, it just circles back to the conversation of like, women don't do that for men. Women like to do makeup because it's an art form. Women like to do makeup because it raises their own confidence. Because sometimes you're feeling more feminine than you are masculine. Whatever the case could be. It's not, <laughs> it's not, ooh, I'm gonna put on a smoky eye so that way Timothy like wants to eat my Never mind. But you know what I'm saying. And like, sure, sometimes women might get a little dressed up to impress and to impress somebody. Like, fair enough. But like, as a general statement, women tend to just want to like look good for themselves. And I feel like, do men not do that? Do men never wake up and be like, God, I just really want to have a good day where I feel confident. Like, I, f I feel like everybody wants to feel confident and good in themselves, and like will do whatever it is that makes them feel that way. The body of a pregnant woman is the ultimate sign of a wife's submission. She submits her body, she overcomes the fear of childbirth, she changes her future, her time and energy for her husband. To bear, care, and educate his legacy, to honor his last name, hashtag Father's Day. This is precisely why feminists are so insanely pro-abortion. Pregnancy is submission. No, the reason people are pro-abortion is because it's your body, your choice. The fact that you think the government should be allowed to make the choice for somebody else is actually insane. Also, not to mention that it's like goes beyond the, the government, the fact that you think the Christian religion should be able to control the government to control women's bodies is like a whole other layer to it too. Absolutely. Ugh, ugh. It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with the woman that is going to have to give birth to that child and then raise it because it's her, like it's, it's her responsibility at that point. Shut the fuck up. You literally know nothing. It's, it's not submission. There's a lot of power in pregnancy. Women who want to get pregnant and want to have that baby are actively choosing that for themselves and their life. It's not all about the man. Like I, I don't understand how like people can actually view things like this. A woman getting pregnant is not a form of submission. In fact, they're, they're, they're creating a life with you because they want to, because they want the baby because they want to see that child grow up. It's not all about the man. And like how, I just, I don't even see how people can have this thought process. I truly don't. It baffles me when I, when I see things like this. Honestly, I'm going to cut this here. I just, I can't do any more about this. Like, this is just, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you want any of my socials, they'll be down in the description below. And with all that being said, I will see y'all later. Bye. I just can't do this. <laughs>